Hello everybody, welcome back to High Functioning Gaming, and hopefully there will be some actual gaming in this video, rather unlike the last two. I can't decide anything on my own. I guess I really do need Master Abdiel. Uh, say, uh, do you know where she is? Honestly, Daza, I think what you need is a lot of confidence. Not Master Abdiel. But that's me. Oh, self-confidence. Oh, alright. Let's go see. Master Abdiel, are you alright? I lost to the Japanese branch. It no longer matters what happens to me. Th that's not true! You're not done yet, Master Abdiel! You saw what happened. Even an Archangel is no match for a Nahobino. Then maybe you just have to become a Nahubino too. I'll find the human who has your knowledge, and I'll bring them to you. I suspect he that has won't her be knowledge. Necessary. Uh, but I. They're already here. Huh? It is you, Ichiro Dazai. You are my knowledge. Called it. Me? I'm your knowledge? Wait, that means you can use me to become a Nahobino. The power of the Nahobino is forbidden. As the Archangel, I must not defy the condemnation. But if you became a Nahobino, then you could... Who the heck is that? Who is that? If your prayer is indeed for harmony, you must bring that about yourself. And what was with that silhouette? Yes. What? Sounds familiar. It's me. Listen, we need to talk. It's serious. But I can't really tell you here. Would you mind meeting me on the roof? I'll go on ahead. Be okay. Eh. She looked just fine. Sorry, I just showed up out of nowhere. Does it just mean her eyes look a bit different? 
Yeah, you're not wrong there. The Tao Isonokami you knew did die. But her soul was reborn by a power beyond description, forming who I am now. As the goddess of creation, my new purpose is to guide the Nahobino to his throne. Take a good look. Tokyo is fading like the setting sun. Its time is almost up. Before it's too late, I want you to reach the Empyrean and recreate the world. You risked your life for me and Sahori without even a moment's hesitation. To us, you're a true savior, and in every sense of the word. What power I have shall be yours, and together we can forge a new future. Until then, will you let me fight at your side? That's all I ask of you. Sure. And let us go forward together. Is that Amaterasu? We both know God's miracle is dissipating. Tokyo and everyone in it will vanish without a trace. If this stirs your heart even a little, Make for the throne and create a new world, one according to your vision. And to foster that, I'll escort you to Dot, where the path to the Empyrean lies. Can't say I'm too surprised that she <clears throat> turned out to be a god. I mean, I'm pretty sure her last name was written using the kanji for God, so... A new realm of Dot lies before us. One that leads to the Empyrean. The path to the Empyrean. It has also been called the Temple of Eternity. Long before the first human being, the entity who oversaw this world created a bridge to the throne. However, Bethel Headquarters has hidden the keys to access it, and so the path remains closed. There are three keys in total. It used to be that Bethel guarded them for safekeeping. But now, the branches that possess them think only of their own gain. So the first thing we need to do is get those keys ourselves. Perhaps a protofiend could detect the energy of divine instruments such as these. I am indeed picking up sources of incredible power. Three in total. Not to mention hordes of demons around them. I say we'd better hurry up and find them. I'm sure you can guess how many Nahalbino aspirants are after the keys themselves. So, keep an eye out. Hmm. What demon? Hey, oh, her! Am I sensing some jealousy? As if a goddess like her could ever replace me. <laughs> Come on, you know I'm all you really need. Seriously. Because you and I, we're... Ugh, never mind. Forget it. <sighs> Anyways, count me in. Someone's got to keep you out of trouble, right? <laughs> totally.
Okay, so it's just the two abscesses for now. Uh, once the chair says the Saint of Bethel, Tower East No is forced to watch helplessly as, um, as a close friend perished before her eyes. At that moment, the voice of higher beings spoke unto her, awakening the goddess within. Even after a divine transfiguration, she appears to have retained her memories. However, she has cast off her former personality and no longer acts as she once did um, as, as a human. I have the feeling she's actually something of a uh, Nahobina herself. Hmm. That's a pretty good skill, but if I'm going to have her heal, uh, it's going to be necessary to do some essence fusion. But I can do that between videos. A word. Stay alert. Oh, yeah. I knew that. Now, well, sort of. I kind of assumed it was already opened. I'd like to ask you something. As a Nahobino, we can reach the Empyrean and seat ourselves upon the throne. Doing so will allow you to orchestrate the laws of the universe. In other words, you can manifest an entirely new world. So, should we reach the throne, what exactly do you intend to do? Eh. I see. That's perfectly alright, though. There's no need to rush your answer. What say we search for one together? This is rather strange, though. I feel as if something inside me is driving me forward somehow. It's not the same as the responsibilities that a proto fiend feels upon creation, either. This is something that developed much later. It almost feels like it's come from a place of higher power than Bethel. Ah, my apologies for speaking so strangely. Please forget my nonsense. As always, I know my purpose is to lend you my strength so you can carry out your will. I want to ensure that you create your own destiny without a single regret. For this, I will do anything. Hey. Uh -huh. well, it's not like I really need life stones, though. We try to take down that abscess first. Yeah, I wonder what that is. Hmm, a degraded boss. Uh, what was he weak to again? I mean, it's kind of weird that I've fought this thing before and yet it doesn't show what it's weak to. You're dead. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's Fafnir.
was sensing something. It's that freaky demon lady you fought a while back. Listen, what do you say we get out of here? Like, right now? Ugh, how can you stay so calm at a time like this? Honestly! Oh, you better be careful, all right? I'm serious. Like, extra super mega ultra careful, okay? What? Freaky demon lady. Halt, I recognize you not. Under whose legion do you serve? This is King Vasuki's base of operations. Until Lord Shiva ceases his austerities, the key shall remain ours. Not even a Nahobito can sway us. Yeah, whatever. Oh. Her. Ah, the prodigal child himself. Perhaps you could indulge me in a short chat? You needn't worry. I'm alone. You certainly share your humanity with Yakumo. But do you share his beliefs? Do you agree with his aims? A shame. Then you too cannot see beyond his surface. That man doesn't matter. It's you I have questions for. Which side of this conflict do you stand on? Are you for the humans or the demons? I suppose I side with the humans, but surely a goddess can be partial to her own creations, even if demoted to demonhood. And you aim to seize the throne of creation? Well, as a means to an end, certainly. To take it simply for power's sake would be a touch petty, don't you think? Yakumo and I share a vision. It's why I lend him my power and why I strive to see his world come to fruition. <laughs> Poor Yakumo's zealotry does tend to leave a bad impression. But what nobility in his soul, in his aims. As far as I can tell, he doesn't even trust his fellow man. A most shallow appraisal, my dear. Yakumo loves his fellow man perhaps more than any other. He rejects humans who have given up, precisely because he believes in humanity's potential for strength. Do you understand, child? Mm. Yes, I rather thought you might. You and he are alike in many ways. Those of the Yakumo family have always been officers of the law, you see. Would-be agents of justice, living to protect the meek. I don't remember Yukari Yakumo being like that. His mother was a medium. She helped those tormented by dark spirits. However, one such sufferer was seduced by a demon's promises and slaughtered Yakumo's entire family. Hate the crime, not the criminal, as they say. But the platitude rings quite hollow when the criminal has no desire, no capacity for redemption. If violence and evil are all they know, all they will ever be, then what can a man of justice do but strike them down? Pretty words have never been enough to save the world. What are you doing, Nua? Ah, oh, here he is. So ends our idle chat then. Farewell. Perhaps the will of mankind is stronger than I knew. Oh, that could have been bad, huh? Totally. But you know what? That demon woman? I think she might be in love with that human. No, wait! Maybe she loves all of humanity, and that man is supposed to be a symbol of it or something. I don't know. Hmm, either way. It's kind of complicated, but that was love for sure. It's like how I love when you get all upset, <laughs> you know? Just like that. Huh? But I... Yeah, never mind. Okay. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is Hindu demon territory. <laughs> yeah, definitely is. Their leader's supposed to be this demon named Shiva, but I heard this other guy, Vasuki's the one running the show right now. Vasuki's like 
A big old snake or something, isn't he? Like Yamato no Orochi. Not quite. Bet you he's a schemer. Never dressed a snake, right? Totally. No salvation befits this world more aptly than destruction. Lord Shiva has spoken thus. Seems kind of harsh. Here you go. Hey, uh huh. Not now. I've got an abscess to clear out. We gotta get uphill, but how do we do that? Hmm. I'm not sure this will get me any closer. It's okay. Nothing I can't handle. Or not. Aha, there it is. No, thank you. Crap. Ow. not really in much of a position to be providing heals. Don't get me wrong, that healing skill she has is good, but best to have several other healing spells so you're not stuck using just that one. Especially with how costly it is. Or a Zanj, you know, a force shard. Crap.
Because apparently you can't have too many agility points! Wrong, duh. Ding. Yep. Let's see. Uh, Wicked Witch with the, and the symbol of evil in Balinese Hinduism. When women who used magic held a grudge or went down the path of evil, they became this dreadful creature. She spreads plagues, causes natural disasters, curses people, and even uses evil spirits to do her bidding. The holy beast Balanga symbolizes good as her eternal rival, even if, even if defeated. She will come back to life and the battle will have no end. Good to know. Hmm. Hmm. She's probably gonna use Makar Karn. If I had to guess. Win And there's the buzzer, so as always folks, do not stop being awesome, and I will catch the next video, but, uh, yeah, call it here. So, take care.